A Walk With Me by Gwen Frostick. If a little toad winks as you pass by, or you wish he would, then this little book is dedicated to you. Let's just wander here and there, like leaves floating in the autumn air, and look at common little things. Stones on the beach, flowers turning into berries. From the winds, we'll catch a bit of that wondrous feeling that comes, not from seeing, but from being part of nature. There was a time when wild asters and goldenrod filled the fields, and the summit leaves turned scarlet. A time when the air, the light and the moisture are in perfect harmony, and the whole world becomes a fairyland of mushrooms. As if by magic they push their way up, everywhere. No stone, no log can stop them now, for their time has come. What great fun and creative imagination must have gone into the molding of these little things. Hundreds of shapes and sizes, just as many shades and hues. Tiny dots on stems so delicate you can hardly see them. Huge ones more than a foot across. Some beautiful and graceful, some round, short and pudgy. There are those whose caps sit at odd angles on their stems. Those that form little shelves on tree trunks and perfect rosettes covering old logs of the woods. Here are some of the most beautiful browns in nature, the most delicate pinks and blues, the deepest, most startling reds and yellows, and whites as pure as white can be. And so they grow on old stumps, among dead leaves, on fallen trees, that these things which have lived may return to the earth, to live again. There is something mysteriously beautiful about a dead tree, as it stands no longer resisting the winds that strip its bark and twist its trunk. In sunshine, rain, or snow, it seems to suggest a power long after life has gone. As the leaves finish their pageant of color and drop to the ground, the trees stand in majestic beauty against a clear blue sky and disclose the secrets of the birds held so well all through the summer. Masterpieces of artistic construction, these homes of the birds, some hanging on the tip ends of branches woven with such craftsmanship that they withstand the strongest winds that blow, yet sway with the most gentle breeze. Some are beautiful homes with fine strips of birch bark woven into the grasses with caterpillar silk. Some welded to the forks of trees with mud foundations, mud carried a bit at a time by the builder making hundreds of trips. There are nests in low bushes and among the reeds of the swamp plants. Nests used year after year by adding a few more twigs, a few more grasses. There are delicate nests, smaller than a sycamore ball covered with tiny lichens, saddled to a branch with spider silk, yet strong enough to hold two tiny birds in a bed of down. Each bird has its own secret of nest building, but no bird has more than a bill to weave with, a foot to shape with, and its own body with which to mold the clay. And so with grasses, roots, twigs, bark, strings, and mud, they build their homes in which to raise their young and line them with thistledown, furs, mosses, and feathers for comfort. And there they are, just empty nests, and yet what marvels they reveal. Up on the edge of the bluffs, look far out over the waves, out where the sky begins and white clouds form. Soon a gull drifts by in the wind, and little sandpipers appear on the beach below. And you are not alone. In the open fields, where sweet clover blows, and Queen Anne's lace and asters grow, 
A bumblebee hums among the flowers, and little goldfinches fill the air. And you are not alone. In the deep woods, all seems so still. Leaves rustle a bit, and a chipmunk runs. A little toad sits on a deep green moss. And you are not alone. It's times like these that you come to know how much a part of everything you are, and how much all things are part of you. A quiet gray sky. A few white crystals float in the cool air. Soon a multitude of snowflakes will be falling. The winds will carry them into long, beautiful drifts, and all things will be covered with a white softness. On the beach, the winds will blow wave upon wave, and they will turn into ice, creating fantastic piles and ridges along the water's edge. A setting sun will turn the spray of other waves dashing high against the ice into gold, and far above, the gulls will reflect the golden rays in their feathers. With the dawn, the sun will reveal a wonderland, casting shadows of each twig, each drift far across the whiteness. The reds of osiers, the deep greens of pines, the browns, grays, and blacks of tree trunks half covered with snow. Bits of gleaming yellow inside milkweed pods, and maroon stomach heads will accent the immaculate earth with color. At night, the full moon will be reflected by thousands upon thousands of tiny crystals. And everywhere there will be beauty, mystery, stillness, simplicity, and life. Goals. Just goals. Graceful forever, standing like little ritualistic statues, each facing whatever gale may blow. Goals suddenly filling the air with thousands of wild wings. Goals riding the ice that floats and disappears in the waves of spring. Goals, playmates of the winds, calling, laughing, gliding with effortless beauty, always with a deep sense of tranquility. Down on the beach, the waves leave their marks in the sands. Sometimes the long sweeping marks of high forceful waves. Sometimes little scallops made by quiet ripples washing gently on the shore. Sandpipers, ducks, gulls, the deer and raccoon come and leave their tracks in the soft sand. And the winds leave theirs among the grasses. Marks that tell stories of the day and night. But the stones along the water's edge tell stories of thousands of years gone by. Red stones and blue, greens, browns, yellows, and grays, in combinations that defy description. Stones that have traveled far to be here. Stones that have many miles to travel ahead. Stones that hold true records of prehistoric times. Striped stones that reveal the layers of minerals which formed the rock from which they were chipped by the wind, the waters, the heat, and the frost. Now and then there is one with ripples on its surface or raindrop prints made at its hour of formation, and bits of coral that developed in warm salt water 300,000 years ago. Stones, tumbled by the winds, rubbed by the sands, washed by the waters, ever so slowly turning into sand. In the winds, the sands and the waters sculpture some into beautiful forms, and working together etch wondrous designs on others. And the years go by, as each stone travels ever toward the sea. It may move with extreme slowness, or rest for ages in the field or lake. It matters not, for nature has ample time on which to draw, but always that which it has created must return to be created anew, for that is the law of the universe. Birds always sing in the springtime. Wind ever blows through the trees, and the sun shall rise each dawn. Yet, this day is a new creation in the pattern of constant change. 
A fresh bed of moss carpets the woods, as other moss has grown before. The trout lily rises from the earth and blossoms, a new and an ancient flower. The beech stump is just a bit farther on its return to the earth, as the leaves of new trees are sprouting. Birds come and build their nests, that birds shall always sing and fly. The squirrels jump from limb to limb high in the trees that are ever the same and never the same. For each day, each hour, all things change. The trees, the flowers, rocks, the sand in the waters, the birds and all the animals of the earth. Yet, life goes on unchanged. Nothing is new. Nothing is old. This is life. And this is eternity. The exquisite winged nuts of the birch sail in the autumn air. Acorns roll along the hillside. The twin seeds of the maples whirl in the early summer sunshine. And willow seeds, covered with long silky down, ride the streams. The winds catch the delicate seeds of the pines as the cones open and set their wings free. The migration of the trees is taking place. Seeds in every conceivable shape, size, and color each with its own means of protection, each its own way of travel, each a tiny tree within itself. Some travel to faraway places, some stay close by, but soon all come to rest, and the snows come, the ice and the winds, while in the earth life is developing, always. When spring breezes blow warm sunshine over the land, the plant is ready to break out of its tiny world to send roots into the earth, a stem towards the sky, and a new tree is growing. A tree that in many years to come will stand upright in majestic individuality and bring inspiration to all who see. As long as there are trees and tiny seeds, there will be miracles on earth. Follow the path of a stone that rolls along the beach. Follow the flight of an eagle as he soars in the sky above. Follow the trail of the wind that blows through the top of the trees. Follow the song of a thrush when evening comes to earth. Follow God's moon in the heavens till it sinks below the lake, and your heart will be filled with wonder, and your years will be ever inspired. Activity. Intense, meaningful activity. Prismatic dragonflies darting back and forth. Flycatchers, red wings and kingfishers. Blue herons, white swan, geese and eagles. Ducks kicking the water as they rise. Sandpipers, hawks and loons. Majestic wings filling the air. Wild. Wild calls everywhere. And there is calm. Deep, still serenity. Jewelweed glistens in the sunshine. Cattails sway in the breeze. Osier, milkweed, trees, each with its own hour of creation. Each its hour of glory. And each a final hour when it gives way to that which is created. There is calmness in the clouds. And in a setting sun reflected in quiet waters. A calmness that is felt rather than understood. One by one, the stars come out, and the creatures of the night begin to stir. Owls, raccoons, opossums, the spiders that work all night spinning webs that will be jeweled with morning dew. This is the swampland, the in-between land, restless and serene, with rhythmical beauty, always. And so, there has ever been beauty in a feather drifting in the wind, beauty in the lynchens growing on a rock, beauty in the stardust shining in the sun, 
beauty in the grasses blowing in a breeze. So, there will ever be wondrous, simple beauty always here on earth.